This one's all about the Harry's latest endeavor, the so-called bent game, and it's stirring up more drama than a Shakespearean tragedy. The dramatic show where the R.O., Harry and Charles, are currently in full-on emergency mode, facing a meltdown with bent game. Their soon-to-be-released book appears to be a colossal flop, not just in terms of sales but also in terms of reputation. And guess what? Ari Emanuel, the head honcho at Megan's PR firm, is not thrilled about it. Why? Well, it seems the content of Endgame is a messy mix of recycled rumors, baseless claims, and a touch of fiction, essentially what Megan did with the Tig not too long ago. But the plot thickens because Megan is now pointing fingers at Harry, blaming him for the royal rift, a classic move, I must say. Here's the real kicker, even WME, William Morris Endeavor, Megan's talent agency, is scrambling to paint a picture of a harmonious relationship between Meghan and Charles. Yes, the PR wizards are trying to work their magic. Meanwhile, Prince William has reportedly decided to skip family get-togethers with Harry, making for some seriously awkward glances. Now, let's talk about the mastermind behind all of this, Omid Scoby. In his book, he takes swings at the royal family, accusing them of fibbing about Camilla's queen status and dismissing their diversity efforts. It's a whole slew of accusations. And if that wasn't enough, Scobie claims that Edward and Sophie, the Earl and Countess of Wessex, made a royal blunder that earned them a spot in the elite ignoramus duess club, as Meghan so aptly put it. It appears that the Harrys had hoped for a seismic shift in their royal dynamics with Ben Keane, but alas, it seems that the monarchy remains unfazed. Harry's vision of a remorseful and transformative reaction from his family is nothing more than wishful thinking. The reality is that the royals are carrying on with their duties. In a twist of fate, Meghan's dream of reforming an age-old institution has backfired spectacularly. Meghan's desperation is reaching new heights as she attempts to portray a close relationship with Charles. The glorified pen pal narrative, complete with paper letters in the digital age, is nothing short of laughable. Let's be real, these non-existent letters would have been leaked faster than you can say Monaco. The whole scenario is a concoction of Meghan's imagination. In other news, Prince Harry has just been issued a warning about there being better things he could do than take part in desperate, laughable character assassinations. All of this has been brought to light by royal commentator Sarah Vine. She weighed on things during one of her most candid pieces for the Daily Mail. It all started when Ms. Vine accused the couple of considering themselves high and mighty before adding, everyone is doing just fine without the Duke and Duchess of poor little me, thank you very much. They must be spitting tax. After all, it wasn't meant to be like this. They were supposed to ride off into the sunset and the whole thing was supposed to collapse without them. The expert also added, but it hasn't turned out that way. Hence, perhaps, these latest, desperate, Laughable character assassinations from their mouthpiece, Scoby. Before concluding she also wondered, are the Sussexes trying to stay relevant? If they are, no one's interested. The world has moved on, and we've all got better things to do.